my lovely peasants, tis I, tis I, Mr. Che. Here we are, giving you a quick video on how to install the Skyrim Script Extender, the SKSE thingamajig, which some of you have been asking me to do. Now, a lot of people ask me, Che, what is your U? What is your UI you're using? What is your backpack thing? It's called Sky UI, okay? Sky UI. If you're wondering, and I'm going to show you how to get that installed anyway, because you need the SKSE anyway to load that. We're going to show you how to install the SKSE. It's so easy. It'll take you literally five minutes. So here we go. Get to whoops, don't load that. Get to your um browser. Go to Google and type SKSE. Press enter, and it'll be the first one, the Skyrim Script Extender. SKSE. Hit that, and you want to click this link here. Download this one here. Click it. Click save file or open with, it's up to you, whatever you want to do, and you will get this doohickey. Now extract that, whack that on your desktop or something like that, somewhere simple where you can find it straight away, and uh, let it do what it's got to do. Super fast, I know, done and done. Now you can close that, you no longer need any of this stuff. Anyway, none of this gumph is remotely useful. So, open the SKSE. Now you will have all of this. You will have all of this. All you need to do, copy all of that. And you need to navigate to your Steam folder. So hit your Steam, local disk, program files by 86, whatever reason, I can't remember what that means. Go down to Steam, go down to blah, 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 Steam apps, common, Jesus, and find, no, not Jesus, but then go to Skyrim. Okay, all you got to do is basically paste it straight in here. Right click, paste it now, because I've already done it, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to copy and replace everything. Copy and replace. Do this for the next four conflicts. Why not? But you should be able to copy this straight in. Yes. Go for it. Why not? Now, that is basically it. That is all you really need to do. Now, in order to run the game, you actually need to run it through the SKSE. SKSE loader. You do not now run Skyrim through your Elder Scrolls standard thing. You don't run it through Steam either. You don't launch from Steam because it won't work. It just doesn't do anything. So what we need to do is find the SKSE loader application, right click that, create a shortcut, and whack it on your desktop. That's all you gotta do. And then you load it from that. Now if you wanna have it as the Skyrim launch, you're gonna get confused, then all you gotta do is go on the properties and change the icon and just search. Basically goes back go back through all your Steam stuff. Go back to your Steam, your Steam apps, your common, your Skyrim, and just find the Skyrim launcher or the TIVS or whichever one and apply that. That's all you gotta do. Nice and simple. That is it. And now your SKSE will work. All you have to remember doing is you have to launch the game from that. Do not launch it from your standard one. Launch it from the one which you know is the SKSE loader. So I recommend if you're gonna change the icon, either, either keep it that name or get rid of the old one. It's up to you. And that's it, basically, guys. So bloody easy! And then you can go install your S your Sky UI and do whatever. Now look, it's this one here. Let me just quickly show you the Sky UI. It is this one. Number four. It's changed slightly. It's changed as of the other day. Mm, can't say I'm a massive fan, but oh well. Sky UI, that is it there. That's what we've got to do. You can download this one. It will say, you need the SKSE to use this. Download manager. Bob's your uncle. There you go, guys. Requirements. See, Skyrim script extender. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So there you go, guys. That is how you install it. You're very welcome. Good luck. It's, like I said, it's dead easy. Just don't forget to launch it from that thingamajig. Fare the well, friends. Yes. Quite.